In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five perspective options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, I've just put one employee here and then I've just put some icon here within the oval shape. You can add the title and the detailed text and you can give some gradient fill and some option number here. When I click, it will show in a different uh, color the option two, then the option three option 4 and the option 5 so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this qr code and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles, I'm going to choose this rectangle, draw the rectangle, this much size, shape outline, make it no outline and the width, I'm going to make it as 1.5, alright, and then make sure it is aligned center and then hold the control shift key, I'm just going to add one more to the right side and one more towards the left and make sure that equal spacing are there between this one again hold the control shift key add it one more here and towards the right i'm going to add one more so you can see here i have added five rectangles and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key all right and again this one make sure the the height and width is 1.5 inches shape outline you can make it white and you can increase the weight of this one maybe to four or four quarter and put it exactly in the center hold the control shift key you can just add it for the rest of the options all right so let me just align it properly and this is also i'm going to put it in the center all right so you can see here i've added five different options now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and move it up all right and this one let me just move somewhat down so now i'm going to select this one go to the shape format now the width i'm going to just uh, reduce to half i'm going to make it 0.75 all right and make sure that this is aligned in the center you can see this is also center and this also has to be in the center all right now i'm going to hold the control shift key i'm going to add one here all right you can give this much space and then i'm going to add one more here i'm giving the equal space and i'm going to add one more here and then i'm going to add one more here so i have added five uh, rectangles at the top and five rectangles at the bottom the only difference is the width is 1.5 and the width is 0.75 for this now i'm going to connect this one with the help of another shape now there are there are two options where you can do it one professional option is you have to go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle and i'm going to draw the rectangle like this all right shape outline make uh, make it no outline shape will make it some a different color and then i have to go to insert shapes and from this one i have to select you know this right triangle and then i have to rotate it all those things some long process is there for this one all right so let me just do it to show you yeah so i'm just going to make it like this and you know this is a time consuming process and i have to do a lot of rotations you can see here i have to align it properly like this and then i have to add one more by pressing ctrl d again i have to reduce the size and i have to put it here so there's a lot of uh, things uh, which is required to do okay again something like this you can see so i'm just going to remove this one with the help of this merge shape like this i have to do it okay so you can see here i've got this shape now instead of doing this long process 
uh, what we can do is we can make use of the option two, which is the insert shapes. I'm going to choose this uh, freeform shape. Okay, so let me just zoom in. All right, and then how I'm going to do is freeform shape. I'm just going to click it here. Do not drag this one. Okay, some people will drag like this. So if you drag like this, it will come. You can see here some line like that. So don't do like that. What you need to do is go to insert shapes again select the freeform shape just click it here take the mouse and click one time only here this and click one time only this one time okay and then just click it so done so shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give uh, this color for the time being and then we can give some gradient fill so similarly i'm going to do the same thing go to insert shapes select the rectangle uh, sorry the line i'm going to click it here one click here one here all right and one more here the same thing goes i'm just going to give this color so i'm going to continue all right so i'm just going to select this line again freeform shape select this this and done all right so just do this one if you want you can just simply copy this one or if you want you can just again draw that so let me just do it once again sorry i have to select this freeform shape now this one this one only four four clicks all right that's it so the last one remains again the freeform shape I'm going to click it here and that's it so you can see here I've got my basic design ready so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some colors and before that one let me just reduce this size here and this size may be somewhat big maybe this size one more size here and another size like this all right again if you want to add oval shape the same thing here you can just simply add that one or you can leave it so let me just put some colors first of all so right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to give different color combination you can see here i can give some orange i can give this color i can give some the golden color some purple color and then here i can give maybe some green color so same colors i'm going to choose it here this will go green this is the purple this is the golden color this comes a uh, teal i believe or turquoise turquoise yeah and then this is kind of a orange color or red color right and for this you can give a uh, same color or you can give some uh, gradient color all right so for that i'm going to select this color uh, the gradient fill so first option i'm going to select the stop select the color using eyedropper i'm going to select this color and here also i'm going to choose the same color the only thing which i'm going to reduce it so go to select the color go to more colors and reduce the you can see here the shade all right so it looks something like this and again if you want you can simply copy this one and put it here it looks like this all right so again i'm going to show you one more time select the gradient first gradient color i'm going to select this color turquoise the second time also i'm going to choose the same color the only thing i'm going to you can see here i'm just going to give it more lighter color here and again with the help of the format painter i'm going to put it like this here all right and again make sure that for this also you have to give the same color i'm just going to select this color here you can see this color this and this all right so you just follow the same uh, process or the steps which we have done for this one and give that colors okay and once this is done if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can go and click the insert icons and you can just randomly i'm just selecting some five different icons which i would like to add it there click on insert 
all right move it aside make it maybe 0.6 i don't want that much big so i'm just going to put this one here in the center this one i would like to place it here the bulb or the ideas i'm just going to put it here one here and then another one here all right if you want you can just change this uh fill graphic fill to white also so once this is done you can go to insert text box you can add title center align put it here make it bold make it white all right and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here again center align white font reduce the font size and put it here so both of this i'm going to group it and press ctrl g to group it and ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to put it here like this all right or you can hold the ctrl shift key and you can just make it like this also just hold the ctrl shift key sorry again i will do it and that's it all right and if you want to do some alignment you can do it and the similar thing you can just add some option number here i'm going to make it zero one all right if you want you can put it here if you want you can put it outside press ctrl d so i'm just going to put it outside it's up to you where you want to keep it all right ctrl d again bring it here and ctrl d so i'm just going to make this as two this is three four and this is five all right again if you want to add some uh, effects here or some shadows here uh, i've just removed the guides so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering this part only you can see and till here all right shape outline no outline shape fill you can make it somewhat light gray color and then send this to back okay so you need to just change these colors as i said and again if you want to do the similar thing you can do it now once this is done i'm going to group this first of all i'm going to select and this one and this one Control G to group it. You have to select this, hold the shift key and select this option and press Control G. So I'm just grouping first of all. All right. You can see here. And then I'm going to group this one and this one. Control G. This and this. You can see here. One by one we need to group it. And once this is done, I'm going to select this and I'm going to send this to back all right and here also if you want you can put this one in the within this one for example let me just pull this one down and make the font color as white and again i'm going to group this one all right you can see here one by one i'm going to group it and then i'm going to give uh, the same animation effect which i've used for my one so let me just go to the animations close this one animation pane first of all for this i'm going to give the add animation go to more entrance effects click on basic zoom you can see here click ok and for this one i'm going to use one more animation again go to more entrance effects stretch click ok and stretch make it from bottom and this should happen after previous and for this i'm going to give a wipe effect and for this again i'm going to use the same stretch effect again make it from bottom and again this is after previous and this also should be after previous all right so if i play it comes like this you can see here now with the help of the animation painter i can simply copy the animation to the other option so i'm going to select this one click on the animation painter click on this then i'm going to select this click on here 
then I'm going to select this one this animation painter and then I'm going to click it here so if I play you can see here it comes like this and you can just copy the same animation effect for the rest of the rest of the options